Doki Doki. Mm. Ah. 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 Welcome everybody to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. What I expected? A cute horror game. A cute game turning into a horror game. <laughs> what I got? Blue balls. What the actual... Christian channel. Okay, I've been playing this game for more than three hours and absolutely nothing I repeat absolutely nothing No indicator whatsoever that this is a horror game has appeared in front of me Maybe some fourth wall breaking some foreshadowing that something bad is gonna happen, but my god The blue balls that has bestowed upon us if something doesn't happen very soon they might explode Oh, that would be yucky! Uh, where are we? We're Monday, Monday, Sunday... December 5th. Here we go. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. Right, so it's this, this weekend, we're gonna visit... Yuri, or oh, she's gonna visit us. We're gonna get it on. Hopefully I keep telling myself There's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us Meanwhile, we're even been text. We've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first But it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her but putting Yuri aside I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. But you can text her, Wamen. Stupid. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Just text her, hey girl, are you okay? Less fuck. Not that hard. I decided to visit Sayori be- oh, okay, so he does it. <laughs> Before as Yuri comes over rather than asking I simply tell her I'm coming over much like you we've done in the past Once I reach Sayori's house. I knock on the door before entering it myself Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family The house is quiet Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor. So I assume she's up on her room it's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her room, to her bedroom, but I finally find her. Sayori? Hey, PGP. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. What in the actual... Is that bird? What is that bird? Sashiburi desh. It's been a long time. Not much has changed, has it? Sayori's room is messy as it always been. I also recognize the same stuff animal and wall decoration that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, you wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How, how come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? She knows! Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me... It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparation, right? I don't know, I think Monica is being a little sleazy and a little big. Yeah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her lean. We didn't plan to be up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep! There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just... I wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something is wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, Sayuri. So. Sayuri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, PTP. Eh? Why 
like you need to be like it's always been. <laughs> this is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have to be worried about me at all. You wouldn't have to come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. <laughs> but this, it is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. He just wants to touch me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know. I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, PTP? But... She got mad. You're wrong. <laughs> Nothing happened to me. If I ever been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. It's like what Monica said. She's only cheerful around me, uh, me us, <laughs> because she, she cares about how we think about her, but really she carries her own demons. See, seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you really going to make me see it, Angie PTP? I guess you have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh my, I can't do that voice now anymore. Jesus, the game just got real. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Sayori! Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to wait by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want me want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayuri? Eh? Why is that that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I could have done, could have do. I would have tried a little harder to make every day a little better for you. And that's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You didn't understand at all, PTP. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Sorry. Edgar. My god. The worst moment. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I want it so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my head. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to teach me. Every past leaves nothing but him. And... You're right. That I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. There's nothing, nothing at all. 
The only thing that could help is if everything could be like it always was. But they were safest. I finally showed you what the harp is in the game. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literary club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept this punishment. Because I deserve every last one. Sayori. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her in to a tight embrace. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. PTP. Sayori is hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arm remained at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't you just see me? I, I wish I didn't give her such a dumb voice. <laughs> it's so wrong. Please don't do this, pity pity. <laughs> Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arm around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, PTP. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. And she does so. I let go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if I if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Poor Sayori. She was carrying demons all this time. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On my way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah! I mean, ah, thank goodness. Uh, you're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You could have always texted me. If I'd known, I'd, I would have reassured you and heard more on my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. It's weird how the game 
you know, they talk about depression and now they have this music playing in the background. It's like, oh, okay. I can't drink. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously. Which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so make sure there was no... Stains! Sorry. Uh, that's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. It would, I, would be re I, it, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Is this really the right girl? <laughs> Did we really make the right choice? Uh, I would have gladly helped you clean. Oh my god. Ah. That would have been even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist while I was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah! I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It it's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, uh, should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lightning, aromatherapy, Aromatherapy candles. Wow, she brought that? <laughs> Bitch is crazy. Oh, wow! I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I wanted to help to take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that would leave them wanting more. That's great! It's easy to forget that you're pr you're a pretty intense person. Ah, intense. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> she kept talking about our patience, but I'm like, uh, I'm right. <laughs> you're getting a little annoying. It's something that I like. Ab it's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use candles to lit the room. I think that would be amazing, wouldn't- don't you? Yeah, that would be pretty neat. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? A dildo. It's a diffuser for essential oils. Of course! How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Therapy? Not familiar at all. Is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You even feel a permeate through your body. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, energy, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes the switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil for relaxation. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. I choose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. 
but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion about it. Yuri Moore smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Jesus! Oh yeah? Uh, what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Oh my god, that's amazing! Wouldn't that be beautiful? And would it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the way I fed that chocolate to her. Like it was my... It's a, it's, it's excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a mark. Here's a market pizza pay. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah! Alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then, she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Oh my god, it's a horror game after all! Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. What are you, what are you saying? The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves attached into it. The, the blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. And may I say, it looks really fancy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, well. Embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promised you won't be weirded out? Yeah, I promise. Okay, alright. The thing is, I'm kind of... This is crazy. <laughs> that's that's my thought 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 out, you know. Yeah, girl, say that shit, and you're, I'm out. I'm out, okay. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at the tap. It would seem I have to go and find another. <laughs> They're just so pretty. I can't help it. Shit, I promise not to be weirded out. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Uh, 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 you're laughing at me. No, 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 I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it, it's an interesting thing to get into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Uh, 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 besides, it's really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? You re relax her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure. I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife. With the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hand. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where did you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I fill the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Pizza pie! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be this sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. 
Huh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll wash it up now. Ah! Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. That's normal. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I have done... How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Huh? She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. PGP! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Pizza Pie. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me? Bish calling me weird? Huh? You calling me weird, man? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we'll lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking to come up with this, Yuri. You invited all my friends. Good thinking. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. Coming right up. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too di diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use a small plastic Small plastic bathroom cups, uh, rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then brings it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I... Oh... She too? Damn. I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah. Nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah. No, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Yuri... Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So... I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Oh, neat! Oh, neat! 
What are you gonna write? Well, it might be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class products we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it's fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me feel happy. Make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah! Sorry. Yuri reels, ba Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. It just started me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Uh, oh, your face. There's drop level of pain on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something wrong on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got pain on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room, kneel back down in front of her. Cute! Ah! Cute! Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Wow. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Oh my god. This is getting crazy. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Huh. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle finger wrapped around my wrist sent a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Kiss her! Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. <laughs> Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. I it's fine. The moment is over soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hastily retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it! I finish filling the night sky with the white dot with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you gonna add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. I need to- it needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, 
Perhaps it would be best to leave it here. Then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. I can think of a couple things. Phew! <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, that's- it's not that. It's- I'm- I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. Uh, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, that's not it at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I should be... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seemed to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. I feel like just because they said that, it definitely is. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait! I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. I forgot you don't like going out much. Oh, I forgot that you go... Okay, we're asking her out. This is good. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You are very thoughtful, Pizzi Pie. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even get a chance to... As Yuri suddenly pulls back. Say Yuri! Uh oh. Oh. No. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Sayori! Just know we weren't. <laughs> it's a key PGP. It's just too big to say hi. Um. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I, I'm already on my way to leave. Are you really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so that's so that's fine, right? If kids Sayuri beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayuri waves goodbye after her. Sayuri. I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well I tried seeing in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. Sayori. But you made such good friends. That's all it matters to me. Tears starts to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Pity I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is bleeding in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori 
Do you want to say that? It's true, Pinky Pee. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being therapies. Monica with rain. I should just... What? What did Monica tell you? Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this is, isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Bit, bit. Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Pinchy Pink. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did it to myself. Peace be. I like you so much, I want to tea. That's how I feel. In, in. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm gonna give it, going to give to you. Oh wow. I gotta make a save here. I'm making a save at all the choices. So far there's only... It's really only two of them. <sighs> Friend zoned. You have to be honest. You can't love someone out of sympathy. You know? What you need the most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back the way they were. Hey, I see. Sayuri forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment. Remember? For being so selfish. So please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. I really do know. You really do know me better than anyone, Pizzy Pay. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to make that sound. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked, I don't know how to act. React. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path, that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feeling as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are the way back the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. 
of all days, I expected this one to be the one where I'll be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparation for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget everything, and I reassured her. F funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Pizzi pie, <laughs> you're the first one here. Thank you. Thanks for being early. Sorry, one sec. I feel like she's she's hiding something. For sure. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Hey, <laughs> you, you should take a little responsibility for her pits pay. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of let her hang in this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, uh, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry! I probably know a lot more than you think! Uh... Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason... I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey! Why don't you check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice! Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poem from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Damn. Ah, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Pensipai, what's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from anything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal at least to wait for her or help her wake up. 
Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh no! I don't know. I'm speechless. I don't know what to be freaked out or sad or... An exception has occurred. File, game, script, chapter 5, line 307. See trace back text for details. Oh my god. Here it is, here's the text, I found it. I'm sorry, but an uncaught exception occurred. While running game code... Oh jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec. I can probably fix this, I, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Ah, oh, jeez, I didn't bre I didn't break anything, did I? Oh, hold on a sec. I Actually, you know what? It's probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this difficult. Here goes nothing. We're gonna end that episode there. I I'll see you tomorrow with another episode. Squad fan.